Hello, my Cancers. Welcome back. All right, so let's take a peek into you and see what I can, what messages I get. This is a general reading, so just take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. I've seen a lot of double numbers when focusing on your energy, so there's like meetings and connections are very faded for you right now. My puppy's bothering my other, my grown dog. So okay. you could have somebody kind of in your face or doing that to you because it's significant. All right. So the energy in the pre-shuffle. I was, I first I was getting adventure, movement. You might travel or go places. I feel like there's like a spunky person that's going to be introduced to your life or has already been. You're going to interact with them casually. You'll meet them. They might be working or it might be in regards to work or something very impersonal. Uh, but I feel as if you're going to kind of either you're going to interact with them outside of that later. And that might be where you're at now. But, um, yeah, they feel kind of, I don't know, their energy is refreshing. It almost feels like, because I was hearing day and night, and I think this is sy symbolic for you in a couple ways, but I think this person, whoever this is that's coming in, they're, it's like day and night difference from people that you've dealt with in the past, or maybe somebody you're currently dealing with or dealt with. I don't know, I'm just feeling like this energy that comes in that you have some enjoyment. However, I am feeling like within the next couple weeks, there could be something here that disrupts that. Um, I, I hate to say that, but I just, I'm, I'm feeling, it could be like a mental disruption going on with someone. There could be talk about this or so, someone's having... Someone might be sad or not completely healed. This is you or someone you're dealing with. I'm not sure because it feels like a happy, good time. And then I don't know what, I'm not sure what happens here. But the energy kind of shifts. Day and night, day and night. There is also this, heavy energy of spying, looking into. It's possible that someone could be spying on you. This feels like a mature energy. It could be a mature feminine, but some of you might be a mature feminine that's being spied on. I'm just getting spying big time, looking into something, trying to find out about a person. Somebody could be trying to find out about you. I don't know what this is, but I, I'm... Jealousy could be directly involved, though, or someone might be jealous of you. Because I'm... It's interesting. There's this very dark and light element to your reading. It's like, it's almost like there's sadness, but really positive things happening as well. Almost like you're in this transitioning phase. But I'm feeling like there is something happy that's going to be presented to you. I see you having a good time here. And there might be something or some sort of energy that tries to get in the way of this within the next few weeks. But it's interesting because I feel, whatever I'm talking about, I, but I feel it very strongly. Um, there's someone that you're meant to meet. You, you were meant to meet this person. It was faded. And that prevails over all the nonsense of the energy that I'm picking up on. You know, humans can play, but they cannot stop the universe. Not forever, not entirely. But I do see some sort of disruption here. Someone could have, again, I, I feel another party getting involved in, in causing some issues. 
out of jealousy in whatever dynamic this is, if it's personal or work or a friendship. And, but um, I also feel like somebody being sad and just not really healed. So their emotions change on how they feel about something. All right, let's go ahead and pull some cards, please, for the Cancer. Universe, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Connect me with the energy. What's going on for the Cancer? I feel like you're moving in a direction of healing, though. Like the universe wants you to heal, wants something to kind of work out for you, Cancer. Um, so anyway, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's currently going on? What messages for the cancer? Mm. All right. So, okay. Puppy invasion here. Um, um, back to what we were saying. But again, this is all symbolic. I was doing totally fine until I got to readings. So there is an energy that's going to be trying to interrupt you, trying to get in the way. Just heed that warning. I don't feel, you know, I, I'm, I wouldn't let it stop you, but here we go. Okay, so three of swords, easier said than done. Three of swords, four of cups, and the emperor here. So, okay, you're... The emperor feels to me like the energy of whoever it is that you've been dealing with in your life. If this is a boss or a relationship, somebody you're dealing with, um, this individual is kind of closed off, very stubborn, set. It's not up for negotiation. There's been some sort of heartbreak with you and this individual. This person will not yield. It's kind of like, it's my way or the highway, or this is you, but I feel like this is an energy you're dealing with. And Four of Cups, it's really kind of, it will cause you to disconnect. I feel like you're hurting from this, or there will be hurt. Ten of Wands, Princess of Swords, a lot of burden, a lot of The communication, responsibility, all of it just feels a little bit heavy for you. So whatever you're involved in, some of you, again, this could be a boss or this could be just a person you're in a relationship with that is not, they're like, maybe they're focused only on their business, but they just don't compromise. You might not feel seen or heard or appreciated or, you know, you know, this could be, this could be something that you're still heartbroken over if this is not a current situation because the Three of Swords came out first. So, you know, the Four of Cups, it's like thinking about um, a person in your life or a situation that is or was that really, you know, hurt you. They didn't want to compromise. They still don't. Okay, so what else is going on, please, for Cancer? Cancer, what else is going on for Cancer? Okay, lots of cards coming out. Oh, oh wow, okay. So... A lot of you may have stress over a King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, over a person that you had wanted stability with or something like this. They could be an air sign or an earth sign. Uh, does not have to be, of course. But I am getting like stress. High Priestess, Ace of Swords. You're going to be thinking about this. This is on your mind. And all, also, with the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess, there's a lot of clarity here. This individual may say something or do something where you're just like, wow, you see it clearly or you will, you know, something could have been intuitively in the back of your mind, but whatever is comes out, whatever is said, whatever is done, it really is going to make you realize 
but you're still, and, and again, this might have already happened because this is all energy in the mind when regards to the King of Pentacles. So you could just be still stressed about this or, or you're, you know, everybody's in a different area. Whoever this person is, is like they're self-interested. Feels like the energy I was just talking about. But look at this. This is kind of nice down here. Um, Prince of Cups, Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Cancer, King of Cups, Two of Cups. So... You have new love here. You have a new interest that you're going to invest in. It could be a new hobby, a new, uh, it's multiple things. But again, I'm, you, you have a new love here. The soulmate, two of cups, king of cups. They might also be a fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or um, water, air. Did I say that? What was it? I feel like um, I'm getting a little mixed up with my pre-shuffle energy. A lot of intuition is going to be hitting for you. You are an intuitive sign, but Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Two of Cups. Wow. What a nice... Um, this is a genuine connection here. This is a genuine... Oh, yeah. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles in between the two. So both putting in effort and energy, both wanting to invest in this. Some of you may actually partner up with this person. You guys are really simpatico. Uh, a lot of this is this is romance. Definitely potential for new romance or this really uh, deeper connection in romance. But a lot of you, this could be an entirely new person. But you may also, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, partner up with this individual or someone that you really get along with. I mean, you guys get along well. Prince of Swords, Prince of Cups. There's just a lot of action. Action taking, giving and receiving, going back and forth, nurturing energy. I love this. So, you know, while you're stressed about this other King of Pentacles, because it came out first. So this energy, you're still stressed about this. You still haven't let this go. But the universe is presenting you with something beautiful that you're going to want to put effort into, they're going to want to put effort into, and a lot of you, this is romantic, but this could be a business venture too. It's a great, I mean, it's meant to be. Two of Cups, yeah, this is meant to be. Don't hesitate on this. You will, I think you'll instinctively know with this Knight of Swords, Two of Cups, I think you're going to instinctively know to jump on this. You know, your emotions, your mind, everything, it's going to be very clear to you. You might have other business or other something else, though, that's kind of, again, going to be in the way or temporarily or something like that that you have to deal with. But great energy, Cancer. Um, that's, that's, that's what I have for you. This, I think, your reading is one of the best readings that I did. So, all right. Bye-bye.